Nigeria. You are welcome to the first mega edition of Compatriots on Life Priest with DJ Modi. My name is DJ Modi, your priest master. This noble exercise is one of our ways of promoting right values and attitudinal change among Nigerians. We believe the Nigeria of our dream is possible, but its actualization can never be without a serious change of attitude from every Nigerian. We therefore want you to know that you are part of this competition this week, not just because there is a prize to be won, but because you believe in the message of right values. Beyond the prices, the goal of the information that you will be receiving through this program is to ensure a positive transformation in your life. That is what our beloved country, Nigeria, is desperately waiting for. This mega edition is to commemorate Nigeria at 63. Happy independence, Nigeria and all Nigerians. The following are rules guiding this competition and you are to adhere strictly to it. One, subscribe to the YouTube channel and register your name phone number and location at the comment section of this channel. Two, listen carefully before answering a question. Three, you have 120 objective questions to be answered in this competition. And each question attracts two points. Rule number four, send your answers to Loyal Magnificent Club at gmail.com. Loyal Magnificent Club at gmail.com before 11 p.m. on Friday 29th September 2023. Rule number five, it is prohibited to send your answers on the YouTube channel. And rule number six, participants should endeavor to write their name, phone number, and location on their answer sheet as winners will be contacted accordingly. Rule number seven and the last. The prize given will be done publicly. Good luck. Let the quiz begin. Question one. The following are the ultimate aims of market value orientation except A. Glory. B, money, C, profit. Question number two. The following are the ultimate aims of the common man value orientation, except A, collective action, B, consumption, C, dignity of worker. Question number three. The following are the ultimate aims of humanist value orientation, except A, mutualism, B, knowledge, C, creativity. Question number four. The following is used in the determination of values, except a. Common standard. B. Common objectives. C. 
common values. Question number five. According to Dr. Arikana Chihombore Kwao, the biggest problem of Africa is that A. The leadership. B. The mind. C. The Western powers. Question number six. Those who are afraid of failure cannot become successful because the road to success is that A. Not straight. B. Littered with many failures. C. Very far. Question number seven. Which of the following is the major problem with Nigeria? A. Policy formulation. B. Policy implementation. C. Policy replication. Question eight. Which of the following is the major task of Nigerian civil service? A. Implementing government's programs and policies. B. Make good laws for citizens. C. Safely moving files from one office to another. Question number nine. A minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria was sent to a ministry to implement the program of the president. He got there and successfully presented the vision to the officers in the ministry and left them alone with the expectation that they can deliver. But at the end, there was no result to show. What does the above outcome depict? A. The officers in the ministry did not understand the vision. B. The officers did not have what it takes to deliver results. C. It is not what you expect, but what you inspect that you get. Question 10. Which of the following depicts the correct meaning of the assertion that true religion is both vertical and horizontal? A. It is responsible to fellow men and God. B. It is responsible to the practitioner and fellow men. C. It is responsible to the practitioner and God. Question number 11. People with great attitude are magnetic. People are drawn to them. They feel better being around them and they enjoy them. Who made this statement? A. Jim Ron. B. Zig Ziglar and C. Kate Harrell. Question 12. Abdul was a very intelligent and well-behaved child. But when he got into the university, he entangled himself with bad friends and ended up being expelled from school. This is an indication that A. Abdul was not a strong boy. B. Bad company, corrupt, good manner. C. Abdul joined bad gangs. Question 13. A nation's fidelity to law can be measured by the following, except A, its respect for its constitution, B, the extent to which it practices constitutionality in governance, 
and C is selective implementation of God's judgment. Question 14. Which approach of parenting allows members of the society to look after each other's children and ensure they are well behaved? A. Community approach parenting. B. Modern parenting approach. And C. Traditional parenting approach. Question 15. As a result of colonialism, Europeans were blamed for Africa's underdevelopment. But after several years of independence, Dash are to be blamed for the underdevelopment of Africa. A. Americans. B. Chinese. And C. Africans. Question number 16. Which of the following is the rock for constructing national powers? A. Development and utilization of human powers. B. Investment in commerce. And C. Building of good dams. Question 17. If a person becomes involved in negative behaviors that are self-destructive or harmful to you or others, you should do what you can to help, but distance yourself if the relationship begins to have a negative impact on your own life. Who gave this advice? A. Brand Tracy B. Kate Harrell and C. Stephen C. Covey Question number 18. The following are the ultimate aims of religious value orientation, except A. Salvation B. Immortality and C. Spiritual power Question 19. Dash is a prerequisite for a peaceful and prosperous society. A. Social justice. B. Abundant natural resources. And C. Religiosity. Question number 20. Which of the following is the best way to achieve permanent peace in a society? A. Organizing peace summits regularly. B. Creating the condition for peace by those in power. C. Arresting anybody that protests violently. Question 21. I do not want my house to be walled in on all sides and my windows to be stuffed. I want the cultures of all lands to be blown about my house as freely as possible, but I refuse to be blown off my feet by any. This assertion is attributed to Dutch. A. Nelson Mandela B. Mahatma Gandhi and C. Abraham Lincoln. Question 22. Which of the following is an indication that your God is strong? A. If you kill for him. B. If you fight for him. And C. If he fights for you. Question 23. It is shocking 
that those entrusted with our common wealth continue to mismanage the resources. Leaders should have a change of heart and put the interests of Nigeria first. When these resources are used to provide water, electricity, housing, roads, education, and affordable healthcare services, that is when they can be called true leaders. These were the words of that. A. Bolaji Afolabi. B. Afe Babalola. And C. Femi Falano. Question number 24. Which of the following is the correct attribute of a true federalism? A. Federal government controls all the nation's resources. B. Federal government shares profit with states monthly. And C. States control their resources and pay tax to the federal government. Question 25. To have a society that has good ethics, where people know what productivity is, and the majority want to end their honest living through hard work. Who made this statement? A. Joseph Makoju. B. David M. Dogo. And C. Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. Question 26. Which of the following attitudes is expected of citizens in a hard time. A. Take advantage of each other. B. Show empathy toward one another. And C. Exhibit hopelessness. Question 27. Which of the following values helps build trust between you and people by enabling them to predict how you will behave in the future? A. Perseverance. B. Consistency. And C. Patience. Question 28. The formal constitutional position of the administrative and cohesive elements is to serve the state by serving the government of the day. Who made this assertion? A. Miliband. Ralph B. Mas Weber and C. Karl Mas. Question 29 Which of the following is the best way to avoid military intervention in Africa? A. Declare war against the Juntas B. Strongly condemn every military force and C, ensure good governance. Question 30. Which of the following does not segregate citizens on the basis of religion or trap? A, religious crisis. B, bad governance. And C, tribal war. Question 31. Every society deserves her own kind of leaders because the leaders are dash. A. Bad species of the society. And B. Reflections of the orientation of the society. C. Responsible for their success or failure. Question 32. The following are responsible for our inability to refine the fuel we need as a country, except A, absence of the culture of self-reliance, B, desire to generate more money, C, tolerance for corruption. Question 33, no condition in society will change 
unless it is confronted through that. A. Negotiation. B. The court. And C. Applied pressure. Question 34. It takes the involvement of non-governmental organizations, NGOs, for HIV AIDS to be fought and won. Therefore, we cannot leave the values and attitudinal reorientation for government alone and expect a change of attitude in our society. Who made these assertions? A. DJ Modi. B. Garba Abari. C. Mark Omir. Question 35. Dash demands that one takes responsibility for wrongs done and takes steps to correct or make restitution for those wrongs. A. Integrity. B. Indiscipline. And C. Patriotism. Question 36. When in 1969, scientists began to talk about orbiting the moon, many people said that it will not be possible. But today, men have not only gone to the moon, but have landed and walked on the moon. This assertion means that whatever we think of now as impossible will become a dash. A future reality b shared impossibility c future hope question 37 in 1903 when the wright brothers came up with the idea of an airplane they were told impossible today we have different kind of aircraft flying across the globe because they were determined to make that possible. A, possibility. B, impossible. C, thinkable. Question 38. The conduct of the citizens most times is the pointer to the dash of the society. A, core values. B, attitude and see leaders question 39 leaders who serve followers have found a way to prevent power from corrupting their leadership they have also found a way to keep from manipulating and controlling followers this assertion is attributed to that a john w stanko B. Robert K. Greenleaf and C. Warren Dennis. Question 40. Which of the following is the foundation for effective commerce and economic development in the society? A. Religious tolerance. B. Integrity and truth. C. Political economy. Question 41. The following are the right attitudes expected of those who need improvement in their character, except A. Acknowledge their bad attitude. B. Be willing to change. C. Blame others for their attitude. Question 42. Which of the following defines a virtue? A. Moral excellence, goodness and righteousness. B. Conformity of one's life and conduct to moral and ethical principles. And C. All of the above. Question 43. It was told of Abraham Lincoln that when he was younger, he accidentally shortchanged a customer while working in the store, but ran after the man to return his change. What virtue does he uphold?
A. Patriotism. B. Honesty. And C. Social justice. Question 44. Our major problem as a country is lack of understanding. We need to understand one another. If we understand one another, we will surely tolerate one another and peace will reign. Who made this statement? A. Atiku Abubakar. B. Cardinal John Onayekon. And C. Sultan Abubakar Sahar. Question number 45. Nigeria needs to grow democratically and develop politically. There must be sanctions and consequences for those who go against our democracy and the constitution of the land for us to have a better society. These were the words of that. A. Matthew Kuka. B. Mark Mzekome. And C. Levi Uzohu. Question 46. The problem with Nigeria is leadership. But the problem with leadership in Nigeria is the followership. Ask any politician the demands asked of him during campaigns, and you will understand why they are so heartless when they get into power. This assertion is attributed to Dash. A. Shishi Aniagulu Okoye. B. Atahiru Jega. And C. Oji Uzo Kalu. Question 47. There were two people in a banking hall waiting in line for their turn to receive a service. And suddenly, one of them jumped out of the line and started making trouble. Which of the following correctly describes his problem? A. Impatience. B. Indiscipline. And C. All of the above. Question 48. A wealthy criminal killed someone and was caught in the process and taken to court. But he bribed the judge and he declared him not guilty. Six months later, the criminal went out for another operation and in the process killed the only son of the judge. This means the evil you benefited from today, you shall become dash of it tomorrow. A. A beneficiary. B. A victim. And C. A repentant. Question 49. The philosophy of national cake in Nigeria was to ensure that the wealth of the country is owned, managed, and dispensed in the interest of Dutch. A. Federal government. B. Oil producing states. And C. All Nigerians. Question 50. Which of the following is this detrimental to our physical and mental well-being? A. Anger and impatience. B. Indiscipline. And C. Lack of integrity. Question 51. Who among the following defines manipulation as the process of guiding people into beliefs or actions that they do not fully understand and that may not be good for them. A. Robert K. Greenleaf and B. Larry C. Spear and C. Larry King. Question 52. Citizens who love their own country are known as Dutch. A. Nationals. 
B, patriots. And C, natives. Question 53. The abundant natural resources we possess as a nation do not benefit the masses as should because of the following, except A, we don't process our natural resources. B, we don't extract our natural resources. And C, we don't export our natural resources. Question number 54. Which of the following is the right attitude expected of a worker anywhere in the world? A. Ensure highest quality of goods and services. B. Engages in transit. And C. Involved in timely sabotage. Question number 55. The following are the right attitudes expected of our government at all levels to regain the trust deficit in our country except a run a transparent system b ensure fairness and equity c ensure exclusivity question number 56 I have always held the belief that the laws needed to shake these problems often exist. What is lacking is the culture of enforcement. Enforcement blossoms only where there is the necessary political will, and this political will must be strong at the very top. These were the words of Dash. A. Nuhu Rebado. B. Femi Falana. And C. David O. Oyedeko. Question 57. Which of the following characterized a society where the assurance of justice is lacking? A. Survivor of the fittest becomes the order of the day. B. Everybody struggle to smart each other. And C. All of the above. Question number 58. Many Nigerians wrongly see the nation and her wealth as dash. A. Common heritage. B. No man's property. And C. National monument. Question number 59 the following are two factors that defines patriotism except that a love of one's country b courage and discipline for one's country and c willingness to defend one's country question number 60 which of the following is the right attitude expected of Nigerians if, if they want to see government at all levels do the right thing? A. Show no interest in what government is doing. B. Become government's sacrifice. And C. Always demand good governance. Question 61. How many national core values do we have according to the Nigerian 1999 constitution as amended? A. 6 B. 7 and C. 8 Question 62 Beyond patriotic declarations such as singing good songs saying good things about our country or waving of national flags our patriotism must propel us to do the following except that a shun bad behavior b shun those engages in bad behaviors and c 
embezzled public funds. Question 63. I will also point at the issue of education where over 20 million children that should be in school are not in school. We do not need an oracle to tell us the consequences of that for tomorrow. We do not need to look far for the remote causes of banditry, Boko Haram, kidnapping, and other organized crimes. Who made this statement? A. Olusegun Obasanjo. B. Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed. And C. Pat Otomi. Question 64. The following is expected of us as citizens to have a society free of oppression except dash. A. Always ensure justice for the oppressed. B. Unite against the oppressors in our society. And C. Become sacrifices of the oppressors. Question 65. Which of the following is the reason the change begins with me campaign failed to produce the expected result? A. The campaign is not clear to Nigerians. B. Lack of exemplary leadership by the campaigners. And C. Nigerians are too difficult to change. Question 66. Whenever Nigeria is playing international football, citizens do not care about tribal or religious differences. All they want is victory. Unfortunately, when it comes to politics, which will directly affect their welfare, they politicize it with dash. A. Religion and politics. B. Politics and tribalism. And C. Tribalism and religion. Question 67. Until citizens clearly understand the need for their cooperation, attempts to force them to do so, will always meet with dash. A. Compliances. B. Apt conformity. And C. Intense resistance. Question number 68. Where dash is valued, things are done the right way from start to finish regardless of the temptation. A. Perseverance. B. Sources. And C. Consistency. Question number 69. According to have a spectre, the only place where success comes before work is in the dash. A. Heaven. B. Mind and C. Dictionary. Question number 70. The African system is bedeviled by injustice, corruption, oppression, suppression, dehumanization, ethnicity, tribalism, favoritism, nepotism, sectionalism, and all that are negative in character. Africa need to move to a new form or system. This assertion is attributed to Dash. A. Joshua Abo. B. P. L. O. Lumumba. And C. Kofi Annan. Question 71. The following characterize a society with high moral decadence except a tolerance of dishonesty b celebration of money above good virtues 
C. Calls good, good, and bad, bad. Question 72. In other clans, if you want to serve people, you go into politics. And if you want to make money, you go into business. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, if you want to make money, you go into dash. A. Business. B. Politics. C. All of the above. Question number 73. The following are reasons most Nigerians do not know the national core values, except A. The national core values are not taught for people to know. B. The national core values are too many. And C. Government and citizens are not interested in the national core values. Question number 74. Which of the following is required of an individual to be able to stop doing a dirty business, no matter the gratification? A. Force. B. Power. And C. Courage. Question number 75. Which of the following is the driving force behind all manner of corruption taking place in Nigeria? A. Poverty. B. Greed. C. Crime. Question number 76. Dash helps you to go for your needs and not your wants. A. Plenty money. B. Courage. And C. Discipline. Question number 77. The following are the right attitudes expected of us as a country to become self-reliant except A. Never draft pleasure in the sporting raw materials. B. Produce what we consume and consume what we produce. And C. Export what we produce and import what we consume. Question number 78. Developing confidence in our own system as a country is an example of the place to serve Nigeria with dash. A. Joy. B. Strength. And C. Faith. Question number 79. Which of the following is appropriate for Nigerian youth to do when never given the opportunity to serve in any capacity? A. Take their own share of the national cake. B. Prove to others that they are more competent. And C. Do things differently and positively. Question number 80. Every society in the world understands the need for motivation. Even traditional society understood the need to inspire the young stars towards the attainment of those goals which the society held precious. Who made this assertion? A. First to see or care for. B. Abraham Maslow. C. Yakubu Gowan. Question number 81. Which of the following is the reason for youth involvement in quick money? A. Pressure to catch up with the trending things in the society. B. Lack of patience to make legitimate money. C. All of the above. Question 82. The following are consequences of quick money except A. Untimely death. B. Imprisonment. C. Contentment. Question number 83. 
the overdependence on the importation from other countries to meet our needs has made the world to describe Nigeria as the largest market in Africa, whereas we could easily have earned the reputation as the dash. A. Largest exporter of crude oil. B. Largest manufacturer. And C. Largest consumer. Question number 84. Recognizing and honoring persons with questionable characters with shiftancy titles and other awards in our society is amount to promoting dash. A. Moral virtues. B. Bad behavior. And C. Respect for traditional authority. Question number 85. The capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset is known as dash. A. Discipline. B. Courage. C. Patience. Question number 86. The following are causes of cool detail in Africa except dash. A. Corruption. B. Bad governance. C. Religious intolerance. Question number 87. I should like to stress the need for us to rediscover our core values as a people. For a nation to be successful, its people must embark integrity and honesty as a core national values. Who made this statement? A. Baba Tunde Raji Fashola. B. Nuhu Ata. C. Tunde Bakare. Question number 88. The history of the phrase national kick is traced to the history of dash in the country. A. Oil boom. B. Domestic kick. C. Colonialism. Number 89. In Nigerian context, the phrase national kick is synonymous with dash of the country. A. Free money. B. National wealth. C. Oil money. Question number 90. Mr. Bob is one of the most skillful tailors in town, but doesn't have customers because of his bad character. This means dash. A. Mr. Bob is not exceptional in character. B. All that Mr. Bob need is skills. C. In addition to his skills, he needs good character. Question 91. Unlike its original intent, the concept of national cake in Nigeria is now associated with dash. A. Injustice. B. Distribution of wealth. C. Corruption and bribery. Question 92. Many Nigerians can kill to get to power simply because they dash. A. Love the people and want to serve them. B. Want to be in charge of the national cake. And C. Are most competent to deliver. Question 93. How else can you explain a nation so blessed to be among the top exporters of crude oil and so poor to be the leading importer of petrol? This 
We are the words of that. A. Fela Durotoe. B. Ngozi Okonjo Ewela. C. Joel Ajairo. Question 94. There is a serious need for Dash to change the mindset of Nigerians regarding the concept of national care. A. Free and fair elections. B. Hard work. And C. Political and attitudinal reorientation. Question 95. To be able to combat organized crimes such as banditry, kidnapping, and terrorism in our society, there is need for dash among Nigerians. A. Collaboration. B. Concern. And C. Alertness. Question 96. Which of the following do we desperately need to actualize the Nigeria of our dream? A. More money. B. More educated people. And C. A positive change of attitude. Question 97. To be able to come together and combat our common enemies as citizens, all citizens must dash. A. Put away every selfish tendencies. B. Strive for knowledge and C. Cooperate with the enemies. Question 98. Whatever we do, we should make sure we follow due process. Contractors may come for contracts, but it is not automatic that you get it. Who made this statement? A. Malam Usman. Magawata B Obi Eze Kwesili and C Hadiza Bala Usman Question number 99 Nigerians are known all over the world as intelligent, courageous and hard-working people but the challenge has been Dutch A the absence of good education. B. The absence of positive attitudes. C. The lack of vision. Question number 100. Right living simply means living a life that is driven by dash. A. Moral values and virtues. B good educational qualifications and c good experience and skills question 101 judiciary cannot be seen as the last hope of a common man if it dash a become a place for the highest bidder b Turned blind eyes to bribery. C. Defend all men regardless of their status. Question number 102. Nations are driven by economies in global struggle for survival, sustainability, and overall well being of citizens within scarce resources. Natural resources are the players of the game, but surprisingly, teams with excess players are losing to teams with little or no players. This assertion is attributed to Dash. A. Daniel Ugo Akogu B. Charles Soludo and C. Paul Alaje. Question 103. Until we uphold our national core values of Dash, the different ethnic groups in Nigeria will continue to be suspicious of each other. 
A. Social justice. B. Religious tolerance. And C. Patriotism. Question 104. The following are the ultimate aims of nativist value orientation. Except A. Sovereignty. B. National culture. C. Wealth. Question 105. Which of the following attitudes is expected of citizens after elections? A. Go and sleep. B. Patiently wait for another four years. C. Hold their leaders accountable. Question 106. Which of the following is the correct reason for most wickedness in our societies despite our religiosity as a country? A. We don't understand our religious books. B. We are not prayerful. And C. Absence of love and compassion for one another. Question 107. One thing that damages the destiny of many talented people is pride. They feel too arrogant to be taught, too pompous to be counseled. Whatever success you think you have acquired can be surpassed if you bring down yourself to be mentored. Who made this assertion? A. Arome Wesley B. Paul Enenche and C. Dandy O. Elegina Question 108 As Nigerians to serve our country with faith is to believe that A. Our help will come from abroad B. We have what it takes to make Nigeria great. And C, we must always borrow to survive. Question 109. Which of the following can speak for a man or woman after he or she might have long gone? A, the money saved in the bank account. B, the good works he or she has done, and see the world he or she has amazed for himself or herself. Question 110. 110. Any parent that disciplines his or her child for committing an offense is considered as dash. A. A wicked parent. B. A good parent. C. A heartless parent. Question 111. One, one. One, Our society is full of skillful people, but some are using their skills to steal, kill, and destroy because they are dash. A. Smart. B. Competent. And C. Immoral. Question 112. 112. Which parenting approach encourages communication and good relationship between parents and children? A. Traditional parenting approach b modern parenting approach c community approach parenting question 113 113 the easy decamping of politicians in nigeria is an indication of dash a lack of common ideology b failed political party. 
C. Smart politicking. Question 114. 114. The greatest problem faced by our nation today is lack of integrity. Some will disagree. They will prefer to say that the greatest challenge is poverty. However, one would insist that unless we deal with the question of virtue and values first, poverty will persist. Who made this statement? A. Emmanuel O. Ayola. B. Peter Obi. C. Matthew Cooker. Question 115. 115. What is the vision of Loyal Magnificent Competitor Club of Nigeria? L-N-C-C-O-N. A. To promote right values in Nigeria. B. To provide youth and women with skills. C. To have a Nigeria with right values and strong patriotic citizenry. Question 116. 116. What happens whenever individuals or groups join forces together to combat their common challenges? A. Their voices and actions are being amplified. B. They can easily achieve their goal. And C. All of the above. Question 117. 117. The difference between good and bad, progress and retrogression, development and underdevelopment are largely driven by values that we uphold and practice. Who made this statement? A. Olakunle Shoreyon B. Dr. David M. Dogo C. DJ Moji Question number 118 The following are programs of Loyal Magnificent Competitors Club of Nigeria except dash A. Compatriots Heroes Awards. B. Making Impact. C. Compatriots Women and Youth Development. Question 119. 119. Who among the following is to be blamed for the fuel subsidy scam in Nigeria? A. The masses. B. The government. C. The marketers. Question 120. Which of the following determined the development of a country? A. Her abundant natural resources. B, her geographical location, and C, her moral fabrics. Thank you so much. We have come to the end of the first mega edition of the Competitors Online Quiz with DJ Modi. Good luck to you all. Please do not forget to send your answers to the email showing on the screen by any means convenient for you either by typing it as documents or writing it down and scan it or snap it if your camera is sharp enough 
and send it to us. Please, I beg of you, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And as you do that, God will bless you. Thank you.